Hey guys, Rob J here, and today's ant is a species of Campanotus, other one known as the black and red carpenter ant. They are distributed over Central Europe, from France to Germany to Bulgaria and Greece. And this species of carpenter ant is one of the largest European species of ant. And they can even produce major workers which were more almost as big as their own queen. Now the queen measured it measures in at 14 to 16 millimeters long and her workers measure in at 6 to 14 millimeters long. The temperatures that they like are 21 to 30, so meaning that these are absolutely suitable for room temperature over here in the UK. The humidity range is 50 to 80 percent and that's even easily achievable. Now like most Campanotus species of ant, you're going to need a little bit more patience as the time it takes between egg and worker is much longer than say the last year's Niger. Okay, now let's talk about their diet. This Campanotus species will accept a lot of different types of food, the main source being insects. They also like sugary foods such as apple slices and sugar water or honey water. Regular protein for the development of the brood or eggs should be given in the form of dead insects or meat such as cooked chicken. I wouldn't recommend using live foods. I would recommend using one of the three methods to put down your live food humanely and also safely so your ants are not at risk of catching mites. Okay, let's talk a little bit about housing them. As they're a large species, you're going to need to use 13mm tubing and tubing connectors on your outworld and nest area. With that said, white tongue and acrylic nests are perfect for this species. And a little tip, the colonies can be very slow to start off and establish, therefore it is recommended to purchase a colony of these ants already with workers if you want something to watch straight away. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Great Beginner Ants and I hope you catch my other episodes. Please like, subscribe and feel free to comment.